Another horrific attack by the police, which is going to highlight um, misconduct and negligence on the part of the police. Um, so the headline reads, Seattle police officers fatally shoot 30-year-old mother near Mag Magnuson Park. Um, here's what the stranger says. They say, Seattle police officers fatally shot a 30-year-old black mother at a housing complex near Magnuson Park, according to a spokesman for the Seattle Police Department. Family members identified the victim as Charlena Lyles, a mother of four. A mother of four, okay? Including a toddler with Down syndrome. Monica Williams, Lyles' sister, said police shot Lyles in front of her children. She added that Lyles had a history of mental health problems and was released from King County Jail less than a week ago. Williams also said that Lyles was pregnant with a fifth child. Police confirmed that three of Lyles' children are with other family members. So, now let's get into the logistics of what happened. Just before the shooting, two officers responded to a burglary call at the property at around 10 a.m., said SPD Detective Mark Jamison. Lyles reportedly made the call. So, she made the call about a suspected burglary in her house, and she ends up getting shot. What the fuck? Anyways, uh, both officers reportedly fired their weapons after she showed a knife. The Times reports that both officers are white. Both officers have been placed on leave per department policy. First of all, the fact that they're white isn't really that important because what trumps all is that they're cops. And that's what ends up happening. It's the police and then people. Because we see white people get fucked up by morons of the police all the time. Um, you see, typically, just one officer responds to burglary reports. But a flag on Lyle's case due to an incident last week involving a weapon triggered the department to send two officers. Um, the officers need to pay for what they did, said Williams. Even if my sister had a knife in her hand, she weighs like nothing. Even if she's soaking wet, there's no way you could have taken a taser and taken her down. There's no way you could have taken a baton and knocked the knife out of her hand. So, again, th this, is, this is crazy. Because they this again shows how the first response is... To shoot and to kill. So let's let's think about this, right? Someone calls about there being a suspected burglary at their own home. And they have a knife because self-defense, right? And she was mentally ill, so maybe she didn't know to put it down or whatever. But if you're a cop, you have tasers, you have a baton, you have, all, you have a gun, you have all this shit. You're equipped, motherfucker. And then you see someone with a measly-ass knife. A fucking knife. And these are two cops. Two. There's no again, like the woman said, there's no way you could have tased her. Got a baton, smacked the knife out of her hand. Nothing, nothing at all. I'm sure there's something you have done. And again, this is another case of police negligence and failure to legitimately respond to an issue. Instead of just shooting, you should try to make that the last resort, not the first response. Understand? What's up guys, it's Saul Hill here. You guys are watching the Progressive Voice. Make sure you guys click subscribe down below. We're fighting Donald Trump tooth and nail and we need your help.